Hello folks, Jason Chrisman, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. In today's video, I want to take a closer look at the Apame Pro Frames and show you how to install waxed, wired foundation and plastic foundation in those Apame frames. I also want to take a closer look at using a wooden box with the Apame um, plastic boxes. I had a lot of questions last week about how well a wooden box would work with the Ergo Plus kit. So we're going to take a closer look at that and I also want to show you a little bit more on on the Apame Wood Hive upgrade kit and the latches I've got installed on my wooden box. So without any further delay, let's learn how to install some foundation and the Apame Pro Frames. So as mentioned last week, these are the Apame Pro Frames. And they're plastic. They are two pieces. They snap apart right in the middle, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute. Um, I do want to say, if you didn't see last week's video on the Apame equipment I just got, um, I'll link it up in the corner so you can go check it out. So what I've got here is, I've got my hive tool. We're going to take it, we're going to stick it right in the middle of the frame, and we're going to work our way around. And we're just slightly going to twist on the hive tool, and it's going to pop it apart. Like so. We're going to do that all the way around. Until we get it completely apart. Now that we've got it apart, I don't know that it matters which side you have down on your desk. So I am going to set this half down. And we're going to start off with a piece of plastic foundation. So what I have here is a piece of Premier Foundation. It's heavily waxed, which is what I like. Um, I do want to make a note though, with the plastic foundation, if you're not going to be using it to harvest honey, then you could take and cut out these uprights. Um, I think they could be kind of handy though. Um, you get plastic foundation in a deep frame and you let the bees fill that full of nectar so that you can harvest this frame of honey and this here, these ribs in the middle, take any concern of the plastic frame or the plastic foundation completely blowing out of the frame because of the weight of the honey. So I see them as kind of handy and for no more cells than what they cover, I think I'm gonna leave them in there. So we're gonna lay our frame down. We're gonna take our piece of foundation. We're gonna lay it right here like so give you a better look how it's sitting in there and then we're just going to take the other piece and I'm sure you've noticed these little prongs sticking up they go all the way around the frame where there's not prongs there's these little holes right here for the prongs to go into so we're gonna lay it right down over top of it and we're really literally going to sandwich it together That's done. How easy was that? No nails, no glue. I just stuck the foundation in, snapped it back together, and now it's ready to give to the bees. Pretty simple, huh? So now let's take, and let's pop apart, another frame, and we'll put a piece of wax foundation in it. Now I do want to make a note that the wax foundation I have is wired. Um, I'm not sure that that's going to make any difference, but we are going to find out. We're going to weigh around the frame, breaking it open, or popping it open. Don't want to say break. Never want to use the word break when you're messing with plastic. So there we go, it's separated. So we'll put this part down on my desk, set this piece off to the side. We've got our piece of wax wired foundation here. I'm going to remove the wax paper from the back, get it out of the way. And I am going to leave the hooks towards the top of the frame. And here, let me give you a close up of these hooks. You see these little brass wires coming down? They actually run through the foundation to give it a little strength 
and then they got these hooks that go up in the top bar. So I'm going to put the hooks down. I'm going to try and give you a shot here of what that looks like with the, the wires running down. And then I'm going to take the top piece, slide it over just a little bit more, and we're going to snap it back together. Just like so, done. So now I've got a piece of wax wired foundation and an Napa Made Pro Frame. And I've got a piece of plastic foundation from Premier and a plastic Napa Made Pro Frame. Pretty simple. Um, I tell you, I like um, the feel of these frames and I really liked how easy it was to install the foundation. So there you go, ain't much to that. So now let's see how well a wooden box works sitting on top of the Ergo Plus kit from Apame. There was a lot of questions about how well plastic boxes will work with a wooden box. So let's check that out. What we've got here is we've got the Ergo Plus, we've got the Deep Brood box, we've got their Deep Super, and then we have a wooden hive body sitting on top of it. And I wanted to do this just because there was a lot of questions on how well the two boxes would work together or the two different materials, the wooden box and the plastic. So from what I notice, um, just looking around here at the reveal on the bottom of the box, it's pretty flush here at the front. It's, it's pretty darn near flush. Um, on each side, there is a little bit of a plastic revealed outside of what would be the edge coming down. So it does stick out a little bit. You can see that there. And there's a reason for that. Appa may made it so that when you buy their latch kit, not only do you can you fasten the lid down to your wooden box, but it comes with the top part of the latch too this upper part that's mounted on the lid here. And what that does is it gives you the option to put that at the bottom of your box, and now you can secure your wood box to the plastic and not have to worry about it sliding around. So I thought that was pretty neat. It did take a little bit of playing around though to figure out exactly where it needed to be. You can see I had it up a little bit higher. See the wood chipped at the top of the plate there? And once I went to actually latch it down, it wasn't cinching down any, so or, or wait, I had it too high. So I lowered it down a little bit, and now it's, it's latching quite well. So to give you an idea on the height, if you come down to the bottom of this metal, you can see there's only about an eighth of an inch of wood. So if that helps you out when you go to put these on, eighth inch space at the bottom, and mount your plate. So you'll also notice that I've got it adjusted so that it's tight, on the top notch instead of the bottom. And that's because I don't have the queen excluder on. So when the queen excluder is on, it's gonna raise the box up a little bit and then I will use the bottom part of the latch down here. So that's how that will work together. Um, as far as putting the, the latch on the wood box, um, last week in my Apame video, I mentioned that this latch could come close to the handholds on the wood box and you can see it came very close here. Now some ham holds on the wooden boxes this actually is tapered at an upward angle up in here so you can get your fingertips up in there to grab a hold and that's the case on the Hoover Hive boxes they, they go up in at an angle right here. So what I did was is I ran my screws these two bottom ones up in at an angle so that it would stay in wood and not break through the inside of the wooden handhold if that all makes any sense to you. So, and it took a little bit of playing around to uh, figure out the right height, but I've now got it to where it cinches quite well, and I'm happy with it. So yes, to answer your question, I do think Apame and uh, wooden boxes will work quite well together, as you can see here. 
And last but not least, let's take a closer look at the Woodhive upgrade kit from Apame. I got a few things I want to point out and I want to show you how well it assembled. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my Woodhive box upside down. We're going to go ahead and attach the bottom board from the Apame kit to it. So I've got the bottom of my box here. I'm simply going to set this bottom board on the box and get it centered to where I want. So pretty much I want to make sure it's flush on each side. Uh, make sure it lines up good with the back and the front. And I think that's where I want it. So now I'm going to take and attach it with... There's six of these. There's two in the front. There's two on this side and two on this side. So I'm going to run one on each side into the box. And then I'll explain why I did that and show you how secure it is. So through the magic of editing, let's get to it. So just like that, I got a few of the screws tight. Um, I didn't tighten them all and I'll tell you why. The reason for it is, being Phillips head and having lots of experience with decking and Phillips screws, Phillips screws don't do a good job of going in and coming out repeatedly. So if you put them in, you may not get them back out. That, that's my experience with Phillips screws. Um, personally, I would rather see a star or a torque head on the screw than a Phillips. So that's the reason I did not drive all of them in all the way. But I'm not gonna say that it's not secure because it does feel very well attached to the box. So use caution if you do put in all of these screws. And like I said, I have had them all in once and this one here and this one here gave me a heck of a time. I didn't think I was gonna get this one back out. I thought I was gonna strip the head. You can see it didn't do any damage to the head, but repeated in and out, in and out on a Phillips head screw just isn't good. So keep that in mind. Now we've got a couple more screws to tighten one being right here and the other being right there. So now through the magic of editing, the screws are tight and the box is now ready to flip over. Okay, so we can see we've got that screw in. Those are tight. The only one I still need to stick in is one here in the middle and that will help pull this back to the hive body. You can see how it pulls out a little bit. By putting that screw in there, it's gonna hold it back snug. I've got my lock for my landing board. It's officially mounted and in the right spot so I can lock it. The beads would now be trapped in. I could close these, close this, and now it's tamper proof. Well, hard to do with one hand. There we go. So now that's latched and I've got my hand holds on my wooden box for my top cover. Those are working out quite well. It did take a little bit of playing around to figure out where they go, but they're working quite well. And you can see this bottom latch doesn't interfere with anything. Um, so it's all right to have that there. And then if I wanna to resort to stacking this box on top of this later, it's there and ready to do so. Um, just keep in mind those screws that run up through here, um, in and out very many times and you're gonna have problems, I think. So that's what it looks like all set up, folks. So I hope this video has been informative to you and gave you a little bit more information about Apame. Um, if you have any questions or comments about anything I showed today, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, slam that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click on that little bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. Next week, we'll be taking a closer look at my experiment on humidity inside the hive. You remember a few weeks back, I installed some burlap on some of the colonies, and then I put mountain camp on the other colonies. I wanna go back and we're gonna use the broodminder sensors and see if the humidity's lowered any and what's contribute to that. Maybe it's the burlap, maybe it's the mountain camp. So we'll take a closer look at that and see what we can learn from that. So if you're interested in seeing that experiment, make sure you tune in next week. Thanks for watching and have a great week, folks. We got Miss Ladybug out here. Hers are liking the cold. Her likes it. Her likes it. 
Yeah, her does. Her gets all wacky. Her gets all wacky. Look at her go, folks. Look at her go. Oh, ladybug. Oh, oh, oh ladybug. Oh, you're a silly girl. Oh, oh. That was a way bug. It's, the people love seeing ladybug. Oh, y'all silly girl. You got no clothes on today, girl. You're naked. He's a naked girl. <laughs>